Hey everybody, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters. Um, we got something pretty cool today. We're going to be testing out a new motor, um, basically from uh, Grayson Hobby. Um, this is a prototype motor. It's a monster jet. It's a new uh, motor that Grayson Hobby is working on. And they were kind enough to get in contact with us and uh, have us test out the prototype. Um, this is a 2400 kV motor. We're going to be running a 7x5 prop on here for the test. Um, this isn't the greatest plane for uh, testing speed, but it was the only plane I had available right now to test it, initially test it, um, that would fit the motor mount. It really is a little bit bigger uh, motor mount than, say, the uh, Grayson Hobby Super Mega Jet. Um, we tested it out, and it was putting out roughly about 700, a little over 700 watts um, at, what was it, 65 amps, Frank? Yeah. So it's a little bit higher than what they told us it was rated at. They said it was rated at a max of about 55 amps, but we're going to push it a little hard since it's a little bit cold today and uh, see what type of speeds we uh, can get out of it. And just uh, for reference, the Grayson Super Mega Jet is a 28 millimeter motor, and I believe this one's a 36 millimeter motor. Okay, and we're gonna be testing out the speeds. I've got a little uh, compact GPS unit. It's the uh, Voltron uh, little mini GPS data logger. So this will tell us what type of speeds we're getting with this plane. I believe before, with the uh, Super Mega Jet, um, this plane only flew roughly around 70 miles an hour, I think. Maybe even a little less than that, because it does have a lot of drag on this plane. It's not super aerodynamic. So let's see if we can beat those numbers with this new Monster Jet prototype. Okay, guys, that's only about half throttle. Dang, dude, that thing's zooming, yeah. man. That's definitely faster, I think, than the uh, Super Mega Jet was. That's way faster than the Super Mega Jet was, man. That thing's screaming. Dang, man. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Hope this foam board plane holds oh, yeah. up, man. Yeah. We will be doing more tests with this motor, and we also have a 2100 kV prototype that Grayson was kind enough to send us. Um, I'm probably gonna be sticking this maybe on my Nova Jet, something a little more aerodynamic, so we can really get a better feel for the performance of this motor. I'd say it's uh, pretty uh, obvious. It's definitely putting out way more power. Yeah, definitely a other than vertical. Dang. <laughs> Yeah, and this is only on 3S. <laughs> yeah. Got a little squirrely there, man. Yeah. It's a little bit windy today, too. So. Yeah. Man. I think this is definitely the fastest um, F-117, Foam Fighters F-117 that I've built. <laughs> That extra thrust from that seven, seven inch, inch prop, prop yeah. man, I think that's what's doing it. Then another inch of pitch. That thing looks like it flies nice, yeah, man. Really nice. I definitely like this a lot better than the Super Mega Jet on this plane. Yeah, well, I think you might have to do a little <laughs> bit of editing, man. Okay. I think you only lost me once or twice. Let's give it a little bit of a cool down. <laughs> like I said, we are pushing it a little bit harder with this bigger prop. Dang, it is a nice cool day. I think it's zooming. Yeah, it's about 45 degrees Fahrenheit out right now. Definitely not a little hoity-toity motor. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna bring it around and bring it in so we can check the GPS and uh, see what type of temperatures we're getting. Yeah, and this motor is still pretty light. It only weighs in at three and a half ounces. As compared, I think the Super Mega Jet was about two and a half. Nice soft landing. Okay, guys, looks like we're flying for, uh, or had it plugged in for about five minutes. Let's see, 2.6 miles we flew. 
90.7 miles an hour. That's not too bad for That's this uh, plane spot. here. Yeah, because uh, before the Super Mega Jet, I think I was getting roughly right around 70 miles an hour. So it's about a 20 mile an hour yeah. increase. And like I said, there's a lot of drag on this plane. We're going to try it out with another plane here uh, coming up soon. Those are decent speeds, though, for a, a three-cell setup. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're checking the uh, motor temperature. Um, looks like we only got 88 degrees Fahrenheit. That's really cool. It's barely, you can barely even feel it. It's uh, lukewarm. And like I said, we were pushing this at higher than what they recommended. It was recommended only 55 amps max, and we we're pushing it about 65 on the static test. It might have dropped a little bit in the, air, dropped in the air, but it's probably, it's definitely pushing it right around where it, um, it was recommended. And it's nice and cool. It's not even warm at all. It is a cooler day here. So maybe, you know, in summer, you definitely want to maybe prop down, but on nice cool afternoons, you can definitely run it like this with a 7.5 prop. Awesome. Hey guys, we're back now for flying at the field. And I have to say, I was pretty impressed with the way this made the Foam Fighter 117 fly at the flying field. Um, it definitely made it pretty quick and it was a lot more authoritative with the uh, throttle control and really got up and went when I uh, hammered the throttle. So I just wanted to show you guys really quick these prototype motors um, and show you what they look like and also show you what they are compared to say the uh, Grayson Hobby Super Mega Jet. So let's take a closer look. Alright guys, here's just kind of a close up reference um, for you guys to take a look at. On the right side here, this is the uh, Grayson Hobby Super Mega Jet. It's really a great motor for um, kind of mid-size park flyers. Um, but here's the new Monster Jet. Um, basically this is just a prototype still. Um, and originally the two motors they sent us are just firewall mount. And what the guys told me at Grayson Hobbies is they when they do get the final version um, ready, it is going to be available in both firewall mount and also the regular um, style mount uh, for pusher jets like the uh, Super Mega Jet. Um, we did convert it for the uh, Foam Fighter 117. Uh, me and Frank just kind of pushed the shaft forward and put a collet on the back. Um, usually that was a pusher motor. Um, but it basically it handles pretty good. I was really impressed with the overall performance and the um, throttle authority it did have. It really pushed the plane nice and hard. Um, as you can see the Super Mega Jet, it was a 28 millimeter motor and uh, compared this is a 36 millimeter motor and you see it's quite a bit bigger in diameter. I believe it was a 10 pole motor. Um, the can depth is roughly about the same as the Super Mega Jet. But with a lot larger diameter, you're definitely going to get a lot more torque and a lot more uh, power out of the motor. Um, as I did mention earlier in the video, um, on our initial test, we were testing with a 7.5 um, APC Sport Prop. And this is on the 2400 KV version of the Monster Jet. And it was pushing on the static test at a very peak. Um, it was 65 amps, and I think it settled down to about 60 amps. Um, that's a little bit higher than what they... Uh, said what it was recommended. It was recommended only at 55 amps, uh, but when we did run it at the park, it did stay nice and cool, so I don't think it would be any problems running it like we had it, as long as the weather is pretty cool. Um, on hotter days, you might want to prop down to maybe a 7.4 prop. Um, we haven't tested the 2100 KV version yet. Um, we will test it out soon. Um, we just got to get a plane to get it on, and I'm also going to be moving this motor off of the uh, Foam Fighter 117 maybe onto my uh, NovaJet or some other plants, a little bit more aerodynamic so I can really test out you know, the performance of that motor. Um, this Foam Fighter 117 has a lot of frontal area so I think it's you know, going to be creating a lot more drag than on a plane that's a lot more sleek and aerodynamic. So I'm thinking with this motor you could probably break into the uh, triple digit mark um, hopefully. So that's going to be uh, some tests to look forward to in the future. Uh, but basically guys this is just going to be a, a real quick basic video, our initial test. Um, there is going to be more tests of these motors coming up in the future. And one thing I'd like you guys to do, if you're interested in these motors, um, the guys at Grayson are going to be checking this video. So please put your um, comments under this video. Um, if you're excited about this motor coming out or your thoughts, um, they haven't given any sort of release date yet, so um, I can't give you those answers on that. Uh, but definitely let the uh, guys know at Grayson that you're excited about this motor if you like it. I know there's a lot of other speed junkies out there like me that really like to go fast. And I was really impressed with this motor, so I do hope Grayson uh, does decide to go forward with these motors. And uh, definitely make them and sell them on their website. Um, one other thing, if you'd like, you may even go to Grayson and Hobby's uh, website and drop them an email, you know, just to show them your interest. Uh, but basically that's what we're going to finish up today, guys. Um, please look forward to more tests coming with these motors and probably some other products from uh, Grayson Hobbies. And again, we're very thankful to those guys for um, including us in with these prototype tests. 
Um, it's pretty exciting and it's pretty cool to see these new motors. So uh, stay tuned for, to RC Foam Fighters and definitely check out Grayson Hobbies for all their cool uh, RC products.